and welcome to Little Bitty Noggins. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. I'm Amy, and today we are going to be making this super cute, super squishy, super adorable jellyfish plushie. It is a no-sew pattern. The only sewing, well, and I wouldn't say no sew, the only sewing you have to do is when we sew up the bottom of his little body. The rest of it is either tie on or just crochet. So for this pattern, you are going to need some Bernat baby blanket yarn. You could also use regular Bernat blanket yarn. You could use uh, the Hobby Toucan yarn. For mine, I used the Bernat blanket yarn in uh, Sparkle, and I used it in Hot Pink, Sea Foam, Seaside, Limeade, and tomato. So I used five different colors, four for the tentacles and one for the body base. You are going to need a J six millimeter crochet hook. You will also need some 12 millimeter safety eyes, some embroidery floss, a pair of scissors, a yarn needle for finishing off, and some polyfill. So let me clear my space here real quick and we can start our project. So there are two ways you can start this. You could start it with a magic ring or you could start it with a chain two and work your stitches into the first chain. For me, I am going to see so apparently this side of my yarn has decided that it wanted to fray really badly. So I think what we're going to do to make life a little bit easier is we're going to do the chain two method because I don't want my yarn to shred all over the place. So taking our hook, we are going to chain two, one and two, and we are going to work six single crochet into that first chain right there. If I wasn't using fluffy, fluffy yarn, I would use a magic ring for this, but sometimes with the fluffy yarn, it does not like to close up. So there is four single crochet, five single crochet, oh, five single crochet, and then one more for six. Okay, so we have six single crochet here. So for this project, we are going to be working in continuous rounds. So there will be no chaining. There will be no slip stitching into the first, chaining up one, working on the next round. It's just done in continuous rounds. In the next set of stitches, we are going to be increasing in each stitch. So we are gonna be putting two single crochet into each stitch. Give me one sec. I'm going to bring y'all down just a bit so you can see what I'm doing better. All right, so we are going to increase all the way around, and that's going to be 12 stitches. There's two, three, four, five, six, Make sure our right side is facing out. Seven, eight, nine, ten, <laughs> eleven. Hold on a second. All right, nine, ten. This is. That's nine and 10. And then the next one is gonna be 11 and 12. Just like that. So there are our 12 stitches right there. The next round we are going to be doing one single crochet and then a single crochet increase for a total of 18 stitches. So one single crochet in the first a single crochet increase into the next, 
all the way around. So we're repeating this single crochet, single crochet increase, one and two, single crochet, single crochet increase, single crochet, single crochet increase, single crochet, single crochet increase, single crochet, single crochet increase. All right, and what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna count to make sure I have 18 stitches. So to do that, it's a little tricky when you're working with fluffy yarn to count your stitches. So you just gotta try to find the V's the best you can. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So we've got our 18 stitches there. The next round we are going to be increasing again. So we are gonna do a single crochet into the first two stitches and then an increase into the third. So we're gonna single crochet one, single crochet two, and then in this next stitch, we're gonna do an increase. One, two. So there's four, five, and six by themselves, seven and eight are together, nine and 10 are by themselves, and 11 and 12 are together, 13 and 14 are by themselves, 15 and 16 are together, 17 and 18 are by themselves, 19 and 20 are together. So it just repeats around. And then this is the last one, 21, oh, and 22 are by themselves, and 23 and 24 are together. Okay, so this part here, you can see we've got a little bit of a, squish it down a bit. All right, so you wanna make sure your right side is out. So usually for me, usually for me, the side that has the tail sticking out is the wrong side. If you look at your stitches, they're kind of more um, rounded on the inside. They're a little less defined. And then when you flip it on to the right side out, you can see the stitches a little bit better. They're a little bit more squared off. So this is your right side, and this is your wrong side. So making sure that your right side is facing out, and again, usually that's for me where the tail is, is gonna be the wrong side. And the next three rounds, three rounds around are going to be just single crochets all the way around. So we are gonna do a total of 72 stitches straight away. So just 72 stitches all the way around. And then once we get to the end of that, we are going to do another increase round and this is going to be the ruffle. All right. So 72 stitches start now and I will see y'all on the opposite side. Two single crochets into the round. 
All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to make our ruffle. So for our ruffle, we are going to be working in the front loop only. So we're gonna leave the back loop unworked because we are gonna use that to close up. So for this, we are gonna do two single crochet into the first stitch and then three single crochet into the next. So working in the front loop only, we are gonna make two single crochet, so an increase into that first stitch. Into the next stitch, we are gonna do three single crochet. One, two, and three. And we are gonna repeat this around. So for the next stitch, we're gonna do two single crochet in the front loop. One and two. The next stitch we're gonna do three. One, two, and three. So in total, this is going to bring our stitch count to 60. And it can be a little tricky getting into those front loops sometimes. So just have patience with yourself. You've got this. All right, so three stitches into this one two stitches into the next, three stitches into this one. Make sure I'm only getting that front loop because I feel like I'm getting the back loop. Hold on. Just the front loop. There we go. Three stitches into this one. I think. <laughs> Yes, one, two, one more stitch into that one. There we go, there's three. Two into the next one, one and two, and you can see it's making this pretty little ruffle. That's gonna be beautiful once it's done. Pull out a little bit more yarn for myself. All right, three single crochet into this next stitch. Oh. <laughs> Slippery yarn. Two into the next one and two. Three into the next one after that. I'm going to bring y'all up just a wee bit. There we go. See it a little bit better. All right two single crochet into the next stitch. Three single crochet into the next. It looks kind of like a ice cream scoop. Pull more yarn. Come on. So two stitcher here, three stitcher in the next, two into the next after that, three into the next after that just keeps repeating. Keep on stitching, right guys? These are so cute and you could do them in any color combination. It doesn't have to be the sparkle yarn. It can be regular Burnett blanket yarn. It could be the Michaels brand blanket yarn or the Joanne brand blanket yarn. It could be any kind of yarn. You could do these with a worsted weight yarn. It doesn't have to be blanket yarn. You could do them however you want to. That's the joy of crochet. As long as you can figure out the correct hook to yarn ratio, you are good to go. All right, so we have reached the end of our area here and we are going to slip stitch into the top of that first uh, the first single crochet for this round 
and we are going to chain up one because what we are going to do is we are going to add our eyes. So the safety eyes that I'm using again are 12 millimeter. So they are a good size safety eye here and they are going to go. So we want to find the front of our work here. And they are going to go one, two, three, four between rows four and five, I believe. So let's see here. One, two, three, four. Well, let's do row five and six. I like that better. And we are going to have about one, two, three, four, five, five stitches in between for the eyes. Look like that. So we flip this sucker inside out. And now these backings are very difficult to work with. They, I need to get a back press for some of these eyes that I use. There we go. I've seen some people use them in other videos and I am all about making something a little bit more easy to use. If I can make these safety eyes a little more easy to use, that would make my life a whole lot easier. So I'm going to have to see if I can find one of those. All right, for the mouth, we are going to take our black embroidery floss. You could also use black yarn. You could use a different color embroidery floss if you've got a certain look that you want to go for for this little fella or girl, this little friend. <laughs> We're going to thread our yarn needle. And what we're going to do is from the inside, we're going to go to the row below. Hello, row below. And one stitch in from where the eyes are, we're going to take our yarn and pull it through and cut across to the same-ish spot for the other side of our mouth. And we're just going to make it go straight across. Okay? Straight across. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our needle and we're going to go one row below. We're going to hook that embroidery floss on the bottom side of our yarn needle and we are going to pull it up. And then we're going to go directly into the same spot that we came up in and pull down. So now we've got a little mouth right there. Flip this inside out. And we are going to tie just a basic knot right here. So the main body of our little buddy here is just about done. All right, so there's that. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to make, we're going to leave this with a still active tail here, and we are going to make a couple of the, oops, sorry, I make y'all bouncy. We're going to make a couple of the tentacles. So I've made most of them already. I've got three of these thicker tentacles right here. And I've got three of these thinner tentacles. So there's two ways you can, I like to use a mixture of both. If you look at this, we've got some thinner ones. We've got the thicker ones. It just depends on what you want to do. So for these, I did one of each in each color. So the one color that I haven't used yet is the Limeade, which is this really bright color here. And we are going to do that right now. So we're going to pull out some yarn using the same hook size, the same J hook. We are going to make a slip knot Come on. insert our hook into the slip knot and we are going to chain at 15. Oh, <laughs> whoops. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 
You can see my chain kind of twisted up, which isn't a bad thing for a tentacle. All right. So for the single crochet tentacle, what we are going to do is we are going to work into the second chain from the hook and we are going to make one single crochet in the next three chains. So one, two, and three. In the next one, we are going to do an increase. So two single crochets into that one. And we are going to repeat this all the way down. So three single crochet. So one in each, two, and then three. And then an increase. One, two, three single crochet. One, two, three, and then an increase, one, two, and then two single crochet, or one single crochet in the next two. Come on. There we go. Chain up, pull up a loop, cut our yarn, just like that. So that is the thicker tentacle, and you can pull on it and straighten it. I mean, not straighten it out, because you kind of want to curl to it, but you can lengthen it a little bit. For the second tentacle, we are going to do the same thing. So we're going to make a slip stitch, or a slip knot, sorry. And we are going to chain 15 again, but for this skinnier tentacle, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. For this skinnier tentacle, we are going to just slip stitch up the side of the tentacle. No increases, no nothing, just slip stitches. All right. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and one more is fourteen. Pull up a loop, cut our yarn. And there is the skinnier tentacle. So if you don't want to do the chunkier tentacles, that's okay. Just make some skinny ones. Or if you don't want to make skinny ones, that's okay. Make some chunky ones. All right. So bringing our jelly body back on here, what we are going to do is we are going to pick up where we left off. So put your hook in that loop that you had there. And we have these loops on the back side of our jellyfish that we did not work into for that last round. You can see them right here, all the way around. Those are the loops that we are going to be working in to close up. And also, we are going to be working into those stitches. Well, not working into them. We are going to be placing our legs into those stitches. So what we're going to do is we are going to take our hook and we are going to insert it into that first space. Let's see here. Sometimes that first one can be a little bit tricky. And what we are going to do is we are going to single crochet into the next two stitches. So one single crochet into the next two, one and two. And then we are going to decrease. So we decrease over the next one. And we're going to do this all the way around for 18 stitches. So there's three, four, and five are by themselves. Six is a decrease. Give me one second here. 
pulled my yarn out. There we go. So seven and eight are going to be by themselves. And then nine is a decrease. 10 and 11 are by themselves. 12 is a decrease. 13 and 14 are by themselves. 15 is a decrease. 16 and 17 Come on. are by themselves. And then 18 is a decrease. And then you start back off at where you left off. All right, so there's that round. You can see the hole has gotten smaller. For the next round, we are going to do one single crochet and then a single crochet decrease. So we're going to find our spot where we did our first single crochet right here and we are going to do a single crochet and then we're going to do a single crochet decrease next so there's two three is a single crochet four is a decrease five is a single crochet six is a decrease Seven is a single crochet. Eight is a decrease. Nine is a single crochet. Ten is a decrease. Eleven is a single crochet. And twelve is a decrease. And if you are unsure how to do a decrease or an increase, I have a, an instructional video on how to do single crochet increases and decreases. And I'll put it in a thing right up here, card. Okay, so we've got some space down here now. What we're gonna do is we are gonna take the tentacles that we have made and we are going to apply them to the bottom of this little jelly baby. So we take our hook and we are going to put it through the bottom of our work here. And we are going to pull one tail through there. And then we are going to go over a stitch or over a row and we are going to pull our second tail through like so. Then we're going to kind of flip this out just a little bit and we are going to tie a basic knot with these two tails attaching that to our jelly. And we are going to do that with all of these little bits. And you want to have a variation. So you don't want to put the yellow, I mean you could Put the yellows next to the yellow, the orange is next to the orange, the blue is next to the blue, and the pink's next to the pink. But I think it looks pretty when there is a variation in the tentacles. They're kind of spread out in color. You can do what you want to do, though. This is very, it's a very easy thing. All right, so we've got a skinny yellow. I'm going to go with a fat pink next. So we'll put this here. <clears throat> We just need one tail. Pull that through there. Grab the other tail with my hook and pull it through too. And then make a knot. And you don't have to do all of them now. You could wait till you crochet another row. Give yourself a little more space in the middle, which is also possible. It does get a little bit tight after this round though because we're going to be going down to six single crochets. 
Um, if you look at this one for me, I did not do any in the center because it would have been very difficult to tie them off. So I applied all of them prior to closing up. going on and what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put some polyfill in this little guy here so grab some of this stuffing and see how much we need the tails from the legs add a good bit of stuffing to your jellyfish oddly enough <laughs> so you don't need to use a whole lot of stuffing to stuff him up all right so, last round, we are going to decrease six times around. All right, so we grab up our hook, pull our, our loop tight around our hook, and we are going to continue to just decrease all the way around. So six decreases, there's one, <laughs> Sometimes the little leggies get in the way. There's two. Three. Four. Two more. Five. And then the last one is six. There we go. And to finish off, we are going to slip stitch into our next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, chain up one, and leave ourselves with a good sized tail, like so. And the crochet part of this is done. So the last thing we need to do is we need to take our yarn needle and we are going to thread the needle with our yarn tail that we have left and we are going to stitch this closed. Making sure not to grab a hold of any of the tails or any of the tentacles that we made. There we go. And then one more right here. Oh, look at that. Trying to grab a tentacle. Let go. All right. And we pull this nice and tight, flatten it out, and then insert our hook into a couple of these little loopy loops here. Pull through, here's uh, that loop, put our needle through there, and make a knot, just like that. Take our needle, 
slide it into our octo and pull it through, securing the tail on the inside of our octopus. Pull off any leftover fluffs that may have come off. And there you have it, guys. The cutest little jellyfish stuffy. Let's pull this up just a bit so you can see him better. And his friend will bring them together. And there they are. Two cute little twin jellyfish. All right, well, that was it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, um, subscribe if you enjoyed this content. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. And also share with your friends who would like to learn how to crochet. I love teaching. I love helping people learn new skills. And I enjoy it so much. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. And I will see you all again next time. Bye, guys.